what's going on guys welcome back or welcome to the channel so on today's video we're going to be going over how to powder coat your own jig heads at home save you a bunch of money it's a it's a cool hobby you're able to create custom things and let me tell you guys you know running your own bait business as long as i have when you catch a, a monster on something that you created yourself it's just a total different feeling so let's go over what we need to have it's going to be a pretty quick video powder coating is not hard it's, it's very cheap to get into you can get a whole thing that will probably last you months and months and months even years uh, we've actually been using these for as long as i can remember but i like the protect powder paint very simple to find online very very cheap you can get one of these probably for under ten dollars and get whatever color you want now i did get this pack of eyes off amazon they're not very good quality a really quality eye for a jig you don't need them but you know some people like the eyes on them i'm going to be putting eyes on today because i'm going to lake hartwell this saturday fishing for spotted bass so that's what i'm going to be making today is some 3 16th ounce uh chrome jig heads for these spotted bass they be keyed in on them uh blueback heron but you get your favorite color you know i've got all sorts of colors here now the the reason i don't sell painted jig heads very often because they're very tedious you know you got to make one at a time and once you start throwing eyeballs on them you've got to put every eye on every jig it takes a lot of time and when i got thousands upon thousands of jigs to make you know every week i, I don't have enough time to be uh powder coating jig heads maybe in the future you know i'm hoping in the future i'm able to get the business going good enough that i can hire one of my kids and actually be able to do this but anyways so basically you either want to go order you some jig heads you can probably find them on ebay or order my roundhead jig heads off the website crappymanjigs.com but today we're going to be using what they call a pill head jig head and it's basically a oval shape with a flat side so the eyes you know pop out more and it looks kind of more bait fishy with the eyeballs <clears throat> now i'm just gonna really really quickly show you how to make one of these with using a lee lead pot uh, we make everything here at crappy man jigs with this one lee lead pot i have probably seven or so different lead molds this one's a freestyle one it makes all kinds of sizes but we're going to make a 3 16th ounce jig head and it's simply you put the hook in the slot close it up get your lead hot put some lead in there get you a good pair of pliers take it out and that's what you're left with so that's where we're going to begin this journey so we've got powder coat we've got our jig heads we've got our eyes if you want the eyes now the most important step of this process is i've got a heat gun now i bought this heat gun at walmart for around 20 bucks uh very inexpensive but what you can do is use a cigarette lighter if you're only going to make a couple of them <clears throat> or you can use a candle <clears throat> excuse me when i first started uh powder coating i actually used a candle for a long time now the trick with the candle is you don't want the flame to actually touch the jig head or it, it'll leave uh burn marks on it well it's not really burning it it's like the gas and the lead it don't it don't work but if you keep it above it and heat it up it works just fine if you just want to use a candle so the first things first what i like to do and i mean this is another tedious process but if i'm making my personal on uh jig heads for fishing i i kind of want to take the time to to do it right the first time if that makes sense so we're going to clean up these jig heads we take off the little lead sprue and i'm actually going to take a fingernail file that you know you can go get from your wife don't let her catch you though but most jig heads if you order them they're going to have a spot where that sprue came off because most people that sell jig heads are lazy so what you're going to do you're going to take your file and i'll show you that little spot right there it's right here and you just file it down get it to where it looks a little bit better You know you, you want it smooth 
That way you have a smooth finish on your paint. You're gonna do all this work, you at least want a good paint job. Kind of like a car, you gotta sand it down. All right, we got that smooth, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rough up the sides. You know, not, not too bad, just a little bit. So that paint will stick a little bit more. So we're gonna unplug that lead pot right there. We're gonna plug in our heat gun. I mean, this is a very fast process, like very simple to do. Now with the heat gun, I like it because it, it comes like, you know, you can stand it up like it is now and you ain't gotta worry about it. Now normally I like to do my heat gun on high, but it is, you know, like 80 something degrees today. I have my fan on, I don't know. You could probably hear it in the background, but if I run this on high, it would actually flip my switch. So we're gonna run it on low, but if you have one, decrease the time that I'm gonna tell you in half. So we're gonna open our powder, powder paint. This is chrome right here. It don't look chrome, but once it comes out, it's gonna be chrome. And I'm just gonna give it a little tap a tap tap until it's all loose. You don't want no, no lumps or nothing in there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this on low, get you a pair of pliers. You don't wanna do this with your hands. I'm gonna grab the hook. Now, some people grab the eyelid and do it like that. So you don't have to clean out the eyelid as bad. But honestly, if you heat it right, the eyelids are really easy to clean if you have to clean them at all. So, you know, before we go in, we're gonna go put it on the heat about that, about two inches away from the, the heat source. And we're gonna one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Turn it, one, two, three, four. Now, if you actually watch the color of this jig head, it'll start glistening just a little bit and that's when you want to pull it you know you just one two three four this is a big jig head one two three four and then we're gonna take we're gonna go in swirl just like that you see how much is on there and we're gonna tap it off and then we're gonna right at this point there's a lot of powder coat on there but see i went in not as hot as you need to be so that paint melts as soon as you hit but it was hot enough to pick up this powder coat oh, my camera battery died anyway we're back at it so we, we dip we dip the jig in there and you see how the powder powder paint is still a little bit like flaky now we do that on purpose because if it's still flaky it's not going to seal this eyelid it's going to be around the eyelid so you put it back on the heat you know count you don't really got to count it down you just wait till the paint gets smooth so i go back and forth and just kind of just want to smooth that paint out i'll show i'll show you you know a close-up of it when we get done here in a second so we're going to go from a powder which i mean it's powder paint we're going to go from a powder to a paint it's got to go back and forth and see the eyelid is perfectly open I'm doing it this way now if i would have dunked this thing in there at the right temperature the eyelid would have been sealed up it just it saves a little bit of time all right so now we've got it perfectly smooth perfectly smooth and I'm just gonna set this to the side right here and that's the gist of it now I do have a little uh, convection oven um, you can put I like to put them in there for about 15 minutes at about 300 to 250 uh, that way it, it makes the paint less chippy but I mean to be honest painting it like that it'll last you a long time probably you'll probably lose the jig before you lose the paint unless you fish a lot of bridges and you're smacking it against the bridge pillars let's talk about the eyes so 
putting on eyes, you can do this three ways. The first way is to put the eyes on. Oh, it's still hot. So you take these eyes off the sheet, you know, one at a time, and you're just gonna place them the center, center as you can. You know, it's got a, a little bit of sticky on the back of it, but it really ain't much. So you can still move it around. And you try to line it up as good as you can. Now, the what the majority of people do, they're gonna put super glue and then put the eye on super glue eye. To me, that's tedious, super tedious. Now, if I'm making a big batch, say I'm making me 50 for the pre-spawn, because I really like to use the orange jig head in the pre-spawn, I will actually get some clear coat dip and dip these and hang them up for a couple days and let them cure. But since I'm going to be using these Saturdays, I'm going to show y'all a quick, quick tip. You can either put the eyeballs on it like this, stick them in the oven uh, for the 15 minutes that you're curing the paint, and the eyeballs will actually melt and stick to it. Or you can do the quick way, turn your heat source back on, and stick that sucker to it and watch it. It'll start popping out. And then you grab it with your pliers, most of the time they stay still, but this one actually moves. Hold on. Dang it, fell off. So you're going to get your pliers, and you're going to stick that sucker to the heat source. Leave it on there for a couple seconds. Take it off. Let it cool down just a bit. Go to the other side. Leave it on there a couple seconds. Take it off. Now grab the hook and you'll take your pliers and just pinch down on them eyes just a little bit. And then you do it one more time. Now you want to watch the eyes you want because they will fall off because you're melting them. That should be good to go. So now we're just gonna sit that, let it cool off, and that eye is just perfectly stuck to that jig head now. You know, no super glue, no nothing. I mean, here's one I did while the, the, uh, the battery was charging. Like, that eye's not coming off. And it's more round in my opinion. So that's basically the gist of it. That's how you paint a jig head using powder paint. You heat it up with a heat source, you dip it in, you knock off the excess, you heat it up again until it's smooth, and then you cure it in the oven or you just go fishing. Very, very simple way to give you an advantage on the water because you're able to pick and choose what color goes with what color of jig that you're using. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. I'll catch y'all in the next one.